All right. A few minutes ago, I um, did a recording on a graduate cylinder that had some pink medicine in there. And what if you were given both of those uh, measurements and you were supposed to add them together? Okay? That's what we're going to talk about today. This is going to be your homework today. We're going to call this one adding or subtracting with six, with six fix, significant figures. So let's take our two measurements that I just put out there for you. Let's take that. The first one was 12 milliliters because our graduated cylinder wasn't very good. It didn't have very many um, divisions on there, graduations on there. All right. And we're going to add to it our good, better graduated cylinder, our more precise graduated cylinder. And it had 13.0 milliliters. So we're going to add these two together. And if we were to add these two together, then you can see that overall we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 25 milliliters. But the question is, do we put that point zero on the end or no? So this is how what the rules say. What do you do if you're given measurements like this that somebody just hands you? How do you know how good their uh, tools were if you're just given them? So here's the rules when you're adding and subtracting measurements. You always know that the last digit was a guess. So if you have this one and this, I'm going to do it in a different color. Uh, I'm going to do it in this blue. We're going to let our maroon be our um, for sure number. But this two is our guess. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing with our, there's our one, our three, and then this time, there's our guess. All right. Now, I was very careful, because you remember when you're adding or subtracting, Numbers that might include decimals. You got to line up that decimal. So there's a, an understood decimal behind there, even though we can't see it. So let's add, and I'm going to do this with colors. So if we were to add these two, I've got this zero. It's blue. So when I bring it down, it also needs to be blue because it's a guess. All right. Now let's notice here. I have a two that's blue, which means it's a guess. And I'm adding a guess to a maroon for sure number. So if you take a guess and you add it to a number that you know for sure, do you end up with a number you know for sure? Or do you end up with a guess? Think about it. You're going to end up with a guess. So I'm going to need to write this one in blue. And what about the ones when we add these two together? Do we, that's a maroon. Maroon. Both of them are for sure. You add it with a for sure. With a for sure, you get a for sure. So, how many guesses am I allowed to have in my answer? One and only one guess ever. I have a for sure number. Oop, there's a guess right there. And there's another guess. I'm not allowed to have two guesses. All right, I'm not allowed to have two guesses. I'm only allowed to have one guess. So I must round this to 25 milliliters. Now, I don't expect to have to go through this color coding every time. So there has to be a rule, and there is. And here's the rule, and I'm going to show you how I remember it. The word add and subtract. 
as the A for add and the S for subtract. And the word past has an A for add and an S for subtract. Okay? So when you are adding and subtracting, then you are to look past the decimal. when you are adding and subtracting with sig figs. You are only allowed to have as many digits past and see there's that word past past the decimal as the digit as the number rather put number with the fewest past it. Okay? Now what does that mean? Well, let's go back to our two. We had 12 and we had 13.0. This one has no digits past. This one has one digit past. Which one has fewer places past the decimal? This 12, obviously. So that's how many we're allowed to have. And it doesn't have anything past its decimal. So we cannot have any past ours. So we know that 12 plus 13 is 25. And since this one does not have anything past its decimal, we can't either. So there's our answer. And it sounds a little picky. But pharmacy school, med school, all these are very picky with their sick fix. And when you get into these other courses, uh, whether you go on or not, they matter. They really do. So we're going to practice with these. I'm going to show you just a couple more quick, quick examples. If you have 4.006 plus 3.2. Of anything, this when you add this together, it adds to be 7.206. But how many sig figs am I allowed in my answer? This one has three places past the decimal, this one only has one place past the decimal, so I'm only allowed one place past the decimal because I'm adding or subtracting. So my I must round this to 7.2. Same rule if you're subtracting. Totally different rules if you're multiplying and dividing. That's a different recording for a different day.